Hi, and welcome to Dr. Mix. On this weekly injection, we will talk about how to choose your DAW. I get this question a lot, what is the best DAW? You have to think that the DAW is just a host. What matters is your audio. So what difference does it make to use a DAW rather than the other? It's the ergonomics, the type of music that you want to make and the type of personality that you have dictates what is going to be your favorite DAW. Let me explain. Ableton Live is great for house music, dance music, and it's very, very flexible for live as well. With Ableton Live, you can play loops along with your session and quickly scroll through them as they will be played in BPM with the rest of the session. So that's very practical if you're hunting for loops and trying to build your dance groove in within your arrangement. With it, you can also create quite complex mixing structures so that you can do wild sidechain compressions. You can use modules to obtain certain effects and use them extensively to customize your mix architecture. Steinberg Cubase is our favorite choice because of its flexibility, because of its reliability. I use a lot the export and import features which are really reliable and fast. It's great for composition because it can really handle plugins and soft synths really well. It reacts really well with CPU intensive plugins and it manages to keep a low latency most of the times. Version 9 also has an incredible sampler track where you can drag and drop pieces of audio and rearrange them using your keyboard however you want. I can't speak highly enough of Cubase because it's my favorite tool for both music making and mixing. Pro Tools has been a great choice for professional studios for a long time and it can definitely handle editing very well. If you have money enough to buy the hardware interfaces, that is a great choice for large recordings, strings, film recordings, large number of inputs. Having dedicated hardware from Avid is really good. However, it's not great for music creation because it doesn't handle plugins as well as other programs. It doesn't have very good MIDI implementation. It's great, but not for everything. Logic Pro is another very famous program. I have used it quite a bit. It's great for beat making, music making. It can be used for mixing as well. I don't particularly like the editing features of it. I see Logic as having a similar flavor as Cubase, but not just quite as good. FL Studio apparently is great for hip hop and beat making. I cannot speak directly about it because I don't use it, but I see a lot of our clients use it quite successfully. I understand it's good for creating drums and to a certain extent also for mixing. I'm aware that it has quite good synth sounds and uh, it also has a sampler function, which works really well, but I'm afraid you will have to do your own research to see whether that's good for you or not. In conclusion, I think that the best way is to try demo versions of all of them and choose which one suits your particular tastes. Whatever DAW gets you from A to B, the quickest possible way is your best program for you.